of new discoveries are waiting out there. What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place from deep on Earth to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Real World Science. In this program, we are going to travel the world and discover all about the many different places where animals and plants live. Ready? Let's go! Intro to Habitats Animals and plants live in many different places all over the world. But why is it that some animals live in warm places and some in cold? Why can some plants survive with very little water and some can only survive in water? We'll answer those questions and more. But first, it is important to know that the place where a plant or animal lives is called a habitat. Every habitat is very different and the habitat meets the needs of the plants and animals that live there. All living things need air, water, food, and space too. Within the space of a habitat, animals need to find shelter. A shelter is a place or object that protects animals from weather and predators. This tiny salamander finds shelter among the rocks. A bear may use a cave as a shelter, while other animals may climb trees for safety or go underwater to protect themselves. Some animals may find shelter by digging tunnels or burrows under the ground, and some animals carry their shelter around with them. Habitats provide plants and animals with the things they need to survive. Plants and animals that have similar needs live together in the same type of habitat. Let's take a trip around the world to discover the different habitats and learn about some of the plants and animals that live there. The Polar Habitat Our first stops are to the polar regions of the Earth, where it's very cold. The polar regions are found to the very northern part of the Earth, called the North Pole, and to the very southern part of the world, the South Pole. These two areas have very cold climates and are covered by ice and snow. There are very few plants, and the animals who live in the polar regions have developed so that they are able to survive in this harsh cold habitat. We call the changes adaption. For example, in the northern polar regions, polar bears had developed insulating fur. Animals, like seals, have extra body fat called blubber to help stay warm. In the southern polar region called Antarctica, penguins are birds that have adapted to the harsh polar conditions. They are great swimmers and must swim to find food. The Tundra Habitat The next habitat we're going to visit is the tundra. The tundra is found in North America, Greenland, and parts of Northern Europe and Northern Asia. The word tundra comes from a Finnish word which means barren land. It was considered barren because there are no trees on the tundra. The tundra is cold and bleak. However, there is some plant life, mostly mosses, grasses, and dwarf shrubs. Even though the climate is cold and the habitat offers very little shelter from the weather, some animals do live on the tundra. They include caribou, 
seals, brown bears, and a variety of unusual birds. Some animals that live on the tundra have adapted to the seasonal changes of the habitat by changing the way they look. For example, the arctic fox protects itself by changing to a lighter colored fur in the winter. The light colored fur helps to blend in with the ice and snow to protect them from predators. The Desert Habitat The next type of habitat we're going to visit is called the desert. Deserts are found in North America, parts of South America, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Some deserts are hot and dry, like the Mojave Desert in North America. Others are cold and dry, like the Gobi Desert, north of the Himalayan mountains. Plants and animals that live in the desert are adapted to life with very little water. For example, cactus plants store water in their stems or roots. And snakes get water from their food. while camels are able to drink and store lots of water in their bodies at one time. Some animals have adapted to the desert heat by living underground during the day and coming out at night when it is cooler. You'll also find a wide variety of lizards that have adapted to the harsh living conditions of the desert. The Grassland Habitat Grassland habitats are found all around the world. The Great Plains of the United States are grasslands. You'll also find grasslands in South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia too. Grasslands are typically large, wide open spaces. Most plants found on the grasslands are grasses. There are not many trees found in the grasslands because there isn't enough rain. In the grasslands of North America, you'll find large animals like buffalo grazing on the plains. In the sky, you'll find birds scanning the ground for small animals like rabbits. Rabbits that live in the plains have adapted to become very fast because there are very few places to hide. You'll also find a strange animal called a marmot that digs furrows for protection from predators. On the grasslands of Australia, you'll find wallabies, a relative of the kangaroo. While in Southwest Asia, you'll find a fast-running but flightless bird, the ostrich. In Africa, you'll find large grazing animals such as elephants, rhinos, and wildebeest, and fierce predators like lions. The forest habitats. This habitat has lots and lots of trees. The forest. There are three different kinds of forest habitats, and each are home to different types of plants and animals. The first type of forest habitat is called coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are found in the North American continent, parts of Northern Europe, and Northern Asia. Trees found in the coniferous forest, like firs and spruce, have needle-shaped leaves that stay green all year. The word coniferous comes from the word cones. Coniferous trees have cones that hold seeds. In coniferous forests, you'll find small animals like squirrels and beavers. In the branches of the trees, you'll find a wide variety of birds, including owls. On the ground, you'll find large animals like moose, the largest member of the deer family. 
The next type of forest habitat is the temperate forest. Temperate forests are found on the North American continent, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia too. A temperate forest has four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. In a temperate forest, you'll find deciduous trees like maple and oak trees. Deciduous trees drop their leaves in the fall. Other types of plants that live in the temperate forest include wildflowers and ferns too. Animals that live in a temperate forest habitat have adapted to the forest seasons in different ways. For example, deer can find food in every season, even under the snow. Birds who live in temperate forest fly or migrate to warmer places in the winter. Squirrels store nuts and acorns to eat in the winter. Animals like bears sleep or hibernate through most of the winter. The third type of forest habitat is a rainforest. Tropical rainforests are found in South America, Africa, Malaysia, and Australia. Tropical rainforests are hot and wet. The plants grow very quickly and they've adapted to the large amounts of rainfall and the excessive heat. In a tropical rainforest, you'll find plants with very broad leaves and trees that grow tall above the shrubs and vines. Animals living in a rainforest have adapted to life among tall plants. There are small animals like tree frogs. Large predators have body colors that help them hide. And the bright and colorful macaws blend in with the flowers of the rainforest. In addition, the tropical rainforests have the largest insect population in the world including one of the largest populations of butterflies. There are temperate rainforests too. The largest temperate rainforests can be found on the Pacific coast. Temperate rainforests tend to be very wet, but their climate is a little cooler. Rainforests are very wet places, but there's only one other habitat on Earth that's wetter. Those are the water habitats of the world. water habitats. The earth is covered by water, three quarters of the earth in fact, and there are two main types of water habitats. Fresh water and salt water. Fresh water habitats include ponds, swamps, lakes, and rivers. Each freshwater habitat has very different kinds of plants and animals that live there. Some have adapted to waters that flow very quickly, while others have adapted to waters that remain still. There are many types of plants and animals that live in the ocean. Plant life abounds under the sea, providing food and protection to the animals that live there. Animals that live in the ocean come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. There are tiny seahorses, sea turtles, starfish, sharks, and mammals such as dolphins. Well, we visited just about every part of the world and taken a brief view of the animals and plants that live in the various habitats. I hope you have enjoyed our journey and our exploration of habitats in the real world. <laughs>